Welcome back to the next part of the developer diary of King Arthur the role-playing war game. I'm Orshoyato, designer at Neocore Games. This time we're going to talk about the actual characters of the game. The heroes most of you might have already heard of. The Knights of the Round Table. There is something that we have to make clear first. King Arthur is set in a fantasy world that has its roots in the historical Britain and Arthurian mythology, but at the same time it's pure fantasy and those heroes are stronger and more colorful than the legendary knights of the tales. The heroes of the round table are knights, or right, but not in that sense that we know from medieval times. These heroes serve their king and achieve great deeds, but they are more like creatures from the tales of fantasy. These knights are legendary heroes, similar to the ones we know from the various interpretations of the Arthurian mythology. But their deadly abilities are not only restricted to sword fighting and battles. They also have mystical abilities, spells that make them invincible. These powers grow and develop while they are gaining experience in battles and during nightly adventures. You, in the role of King Arthur, start with one knight. He is the foster brother of King Arthur, Sir Kay. Later, you can gather different heroes to your own round table, some of them well known from the tales. There are various ways to recruit a new hero. By accomplishing important storyline quests, these are the objectives, or during adventures. But you can't take their services for granted. Heroes can easily leave the round table if they feel that their demands are not fulfilled. They can even betray you if they have a different morality rating than yours. There are ways to keep them in the curd though, but it will not be cheap because they will require fiefdoms, powerful artifacts or wealthy brides. The round table exists in the game as well. The round table screen is where you can see all your available heroes and check all the options you have with them. The heroes of King Arthur belong to one of the three basic classes. Champions are deadly warriors in battles, warlords are excellent leaders and liege lords, while the sages are the masters of the mystic knowledge called magic. Character development is the most important role-playing element in the game. The heroes gain experience points in battles that depends on how many enemies they have defeated. The other way to gather experience is to go on the adventures that pop up on the campaign map. Experience points can be used to boost skills and abilities when heroes gain new levels. There is no limit to the maximum number of levels in the game. There are two different skill groups. The first is a group of class skills. The class skills of the champions make them deadly in battles and give boost to their troops. Warlord skills have an impact on the upkeep of the armies and give bonuses to tactics in battles or make the units more effective in a certain range. The sages can cast deadly spells from far away or even summon storms or they can make their units withstand the negative effects such as the bad weather conditions. The other group is the general skills. These are not class related, but they are very unique skills, some of them already available on the starting level. Later, changes in your morality unlock additional general skills and you can gain them during adventures as well. When you begin the game, your heroes will mostly have class skills but later you will get more and more general skills. These make all classes unique, so a champion could later cast lightning at the enemy, a sage can be a deadly warrior, or a warlord might be capable of summoning storms. Traits are very important in the game. These are the very personal advantages or weaknesses of a hero. Some of these traits influence economics, for example, but mostly they make the heroes unique. For example, Sir Caradoc is a deadly warrior on the battlefield, but his traits make him a very dangerous ally. He governs with iron fists and if you don't give him enough provinces to rule, 
His loyalty starts to drop until he leaves your court. Heroes have their own morality ratings as well. They can be rightful knights or tyrants, Christians or believers of the old faith. The morality of the hero usually won't change unless something huge happens with him during an adventure. As I have already mentioned, heroes have a loyalty rating. If it drops low, they can abandon or even betray us. Some of your decisions as King Arthur will have a negative effect on their loyalty. Rightful heroes, for example, don't tolerate if you torture the prisoners to death. Their morality and their traits also count. If you give them provinces or a marriage, they can be satisfied for a while. Marriage is simple. There are many damsels in the court. Princesses and noble ladies often come to Camelot and you can choose a suitable bride for one of your heroes. These ladies bring money or gifts into the marriage and they also have traits that influence the life in the fiefdoms. Choosing the perfect bride is an important tactical and economical decision. Our heroes will get powerful artifacts from their defeated enemies or during adventures. In King Arthur, these artifacts are not the usual boring magic items that grant some boost to abilities, but most of these items grant brand new skills. There are special artifacts that can be developed and improved, and they have their own abilities. Your knights have to accomplish certain conditions to make these abilities work. Some of them will only work if the hero has killed a certain number of enemies, defeated several enemy heroes or used a certain spell, and so on. These artifacts grow stronger with the hero until they become legendary items. As we have seen so far, the heroes in King Arthur are very detailed and personalized characters who will lead our armies into battles. They are mighty warriors and wizards, and it's not an overstatement to say that their abilities can really change the outcome of battles. But this is something we will discuss in a later installment. Thanks for watching the video and see you soon!